Chris, stop! No! Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 video game sharks. For this list, we'll be looking at gaming's most memorable kings of the sea. Which video game sharks are you glad are only fictional? Let us know in the comments. Number 10. Terrafin, Skylanders Franchise Sharks are inherently cool, but Terrafin is what would happen if pure awesomeness was combined with unfiltered badassery. Not only is Terrafin a dirt shark that used to serve as a protector of his sandy seas, but the Skylander also took up boxing and naturally became a champion. Seeking something more in life, Terrafin followed Master Eon's guidance and became a genuine hero, taking on those who threaten the safety of Skylands. The sheer volume of Skylanders out there means Terrafin can only sporadically shine, but the shark only needs a few seconds to leave a lasting impression. Number 9. Captain Fishhook, Luigi's Mansion 3 Leave it to Nintendo to craft a ghost shark pirate that only needs one boss battle to be unforgettable. Like the entirety of Luigi's Mansion 3, Captain Fishhook's design is simply charming, as the boss matches a shark-esque body with a stylish eye patch and a hook that could make Candyman jealous. While most studios might think a shark pirate that can fly is more than good enough, Next Level Games is not most studios. So Captain Fishhook can also possess the ship and turn into the most terrifying vacuum Luigi has ever encountered. Number 8. Cyber Shark, Far Cry 3, Blood Dragon. As a spin-off parodying the blockbusters and games from the decade of glam metal, Far Cry 3 Blood Dragon needed to find something that truly captured the over-the-top extremism of the 1980s. Enter the Cyber Shark, a monstrosity that delivers exactly what is advertised by its name. Essentially a bull shark that has been futurized through a metallic coat of paint and naturally neon features, the Cyber Shark slips seamlessly into Blood Dragon's gloriously outlandish waters. While the enhanced menace can be avoided as it is not faced in the main mission, the Cyber Shark is still a must-see attraction. Number 7. Grand Bruce, Beautiful Joe. Known for going out in explosions and chewing up hindquarters, Grand Bruce is a shark-like creature who also happens to need scuba gear. While his sharp teeth are pretty useful for taking a bite out of Joe, Grand Bruce's huge mouth is also his greatest weakness, as the Jato operative cannot help but constantly put a flipper in it. Beautiful Joe's comedic nature allows Grand Bruce to shine as a personality rather than just a boss who needs to be overcome. The incompetent villain even tries to find love, although it does not work out. <laughs> Number 6. Georg, The Legend of Zelda, The Wind Waker Originally associated with a piranha-esque boss in Majora's Mask, the Georg species received a shark-fueled redesign for The Wind Waker. As sharks are typically seen as the ocean's natural predators, it makes sense that the Wind Waker's Great Sea would be infested with Georgs seeking to grab a quick lunch by ramming Link's boat. Despite having rather impressive designs that could make Jaws' iconic shark seem rather quaint, Georgs are little more than nuisances that pepper Link's open sea adventure. Still, Georgs add a bit of flair and excitement during those long treks from island to island. Number 5. Jonathan Jones, Super Mario RPG Legend of the Seven Stars Apparently, Nintendo games have a thing for shark pirates. Super Mario RPG has memorable bosses and characters to spare, but there is something extra appealing about Jonathan Jones. Now, a lot of the pirate captain's brilliance can be credited to Johnny's cape and medallion, but the boss is more than just the best-dressed shark in the business. Johnny goes through a surprising amount of development for a boss who, in the grand scheme of things, only appears briefly in the RPG. 
After the pair do battle, Johnny transforms from Mario's enemy to an ally. Number 4. Snacker the Shark, Banjo-Kazooie Sometimes sticking to the basics reaps the best rewards. The waters at Banjo-Kazooie's Treasure Trove Cove and Rusty Bucket Bay are home to Snacker the Shark, an enemy that mostly just looks like the real-life fish. While his design might not be that unique, and the game pays obvious homage to Jaws, encounters with Snacker prove to be constantly thrilling as the shark genuinely comes across as a threat. Snacker simply wants to eat Banjo and Kazooie, and the shark is completely dedicated to fulfilling its goal, preferably while spewing out a couple of one-liners. Number 3. Sharpedo, Pokemon Franchise With over 800 Pokemon, Game Freak has taken inspiration from pretty much everything. Introduced in Generation 3, Sharpedo is the evolved form of Carvana, because sometimes a piranha can will itself into becoming a shark. A dual water and dark type, Sharpedo is a solid enough option in most of the single-player campaigns, especially if its mega evolution is taken into consideration. In Sword and Shield's Isle of Armor DLC, Sharpedo is one of the better examples of the potential of the wild areas. Sharpedo truly lives up to its brutal reputation when it's chasing down trainers who dared to enter the Pokémon's waters. Number 2. Neptune – Resident Evil Franchise In the pursuit of science, the Umbrella Corporation dared to wonder what would happen if a great white shark got a case of the zombie. As the experiments would demonstrate, there is little room for improvement when it comes to Mother Nature's aquatic kings. Despite the sharks not changing significantly after being exposed to the T-Virus, Neptunes are still nothing short of horrifying. The 2002 Resident Evil remake supersized the fish of the original game to craft an encounter worthy of zombified sharks, and a few Neptunes even make fun appearances in a couple of spin-offs. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure to go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Bruce slash Jaws – Jaws Unleashed Steven Spielberg's Bruce casts such a wide shadow that every shark is inadvertently compared to it. Jaws Unleashed might not be a brilliant game, but it does succeed in making its titular Great White feel like the deadliest fish in the sea. Through its open-world gameplay and an unapologetic willingness to make sure its iconic shark is well-fed, Jaws Unleashed delivers moments of primal satisfaction. Even though its technical deficiencies are disappointing, Jaws Unleashed brings a legend to life in a gory adventure that turns the tables by giving players control of the terror that lurks beneath the water. In the mood for more awesome gaming content? Be sure to check out this video here on Mojo Plays. And don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.